Good morning, folks. We just had a 4.3 in the Gulf of California, slightly above average. 4.5 in the Dominican is a little scarier. This region appears active this morning. Beijing, China saw torrential rainfall in the span of just a few hours. And in another part of China, a mudslide broke and then blocked a river, now forms a small lake. Interesting article here about Titan's south polar storms. The general topic reminds me of Saturn's hexagonal north pole. It seems like weather, climate change, heat records, it's quite the constant here on the Two Minute News. Well, this is a good fact sheet going beyond the heat records, beyond the United States to include the globe. We had a gamma ray burst last night and the swift spacecraft indicates it came from way up north at the directional line of constellation Cepheus. If we pull up an Ohio sunrise on Stellarium and look north as we turn on the constellation labels and set time in motion at speed, we can see for those at my latitude, she doesn't leave the sky, just circles what would be the imaginary line extending out from the North Pole. The Earth footprint is activated and updating again. This is good for two reasons. First, we like knowing where this is because when a flare occurs near the Earth footprint, its effects on Earth can be increased, including the possibility of polar radiation storms, but also because of all this magnetic portal near Earth jabber that you're hearing these days. I invite you to Google magnetic portals connect Earth to Sun and see just how old these articles are. Now it's not only an old story, but we watch these portals regularly. For example, the footprint here presents a flare danger because that's where our Earth portal connects to the Sun. Seen as the black and white lines here on the endless spiral, and yes all solar system objects have these magnetic portals, a flare near that connection electrifies and intensifies the connection, which is why it's dangerous. Having a look at the SOHO Lasco C3, looking at the sun from the Earth, a sun diving comet will be seen just below and to the right of the opaque disk blocking the sun. Don't look too far down, it starts near the middle of the screen and goes up towards the sun. Something else interesting, a bunch of you noticed this yesterday, we have six objects that are not moving on SOHO. I wouldn't get too worried, these look like space dust or sensor error, maybe from those big flares last week, but you will probably see a lot of UFO videos on this today. Solar wind speed, the yellow, has been steadily rising for a day. We are in a minor coronal hole stream from that tiny dark hole turning away from us up there. I wasn't even sure that'd be geo-effective. Well, here's 11520, and she's not put out any major flares and is just kind of biding her time right now, morphing slowly. But she is dangerous. If you remember, the blue and red close together here is our delta spot. Noah has labeled it as well. Let's keep watching, folks. Eyes open. That's the news. Be safe.